Hey everybody, welcome back to Gettysburg 159. We're in the woods on Big Round Top. I think it's a great opportunity to do something a little bit different. We have been zooming down into individual regiments and soldiers here, and I'll talk about a few, but I wanna talk about sort of the advance through these woods on July 2nd, 1863. The first Confederate major attack on July 2nd of 1863 comes from the front line of Hood's division. That's Law's Alabamians and Robertson's Texans and Arkansans. You can read more about those if you'd like, but they're coming through all this difficult area. Right off the bat, General Law, in charge of the Alabamians and soon of the entire division, after General Hood is wounded, you might remember that from the Gettysburg movie, worst place I ever saw. And you are going to have Law saying that the difficulties of the ground increased the task of the advanced fourfold, okay? There were boulders, there were undulations, there were cuts through the ridges that became very difficult. Remember, Alabamians, these Alabamians are especially thirsty, some of whom don't have any canteens on the second hottest day of the entire summer, and oh my God, there's a new article in Gettysburg Magazine about the real field during the battle. I can't wait to read it. Yes, that's what people like me um, think about while we're out on the battlefield. We want to learn more. Um, and one of those soldiers uh, was observed by a guy named Ward in the 4th Alabama who would have come through this general area right here and he said that one of the soldiers concerned that if he stopped to fill this canteen, the file closers, the sergeants would bayonet him from the rear, couldn't stop. So what did he do when he came to Plum Run, which is not far from here? He put his gun down in the water, put a hand down in the water, and scooped up one uh, tasty mouthful of water and kept marching, thereby fulfilling what he was supposed to do and getting just that little bit of water. That's dedication to duty. Now, as the Confederates are moving along here, they came along this rocky terrain and watch out Evan Portman behind the camera here. And during the Civil War, if there is a thorny bush in front of you or there's a rock in front of you, you climb over it or march through it if you can. It's very difficult to get around this stuff, right? If you come up to a big line of boulders, oh, I wish you could see the cameraman here looking and making this an art right here. If you come up to a line of boulders here, what are you gonna do? Does your whole company split apart to go around it? Well, one of the Texans, a guy named H.H. Hendricks, actually talked about standing at one of these big boulders and helping people over the boulder. Remember, this might not seem, maybe some of you youngins could get up here easily enough, but what we're talking about here is people that have a gun, they have a cartridge box, some of, most of them have haversacks and a bedroll and everything, and they're going into battle and they don't have nice rubber-soled shoes either. So he's helping people up and over this area. And while this is going on, there are amusing and heartbreaking portions of this attack. And I'll only leave you with one more, one of my favorite quotes, because I embody two of these things. There's one soldier who uh, uh, was killed in the fight, and one of the Confederates, a Texan, was remembering him. His name's Goldsboro, and I can't find him in the rosters. Maybe Joe Owen, maybe you can help. And the guy remembered him like this. He was a gambler, he was a German, and he was a Jew but he died with his face to the front, which as two of those things, I think it's pretty funny that despite all those terrible deficiencies, he managed to perform well. So we just wanted to show you these woods here. Uh, come out to the Devil's Kitchen, come out to Big Round Top along the established paths and see what the Confederates had to advance over and you'll get a little bit of better idea of the Battle of Gettysburg, the American Civil War and American history. Thank you for watching.